wrote that song to kind of signify that, to say I will always love you and hope life treats you kind. And life has treated me kind, but that song has been uh, important to me all through the years. And of course, when Whitney Houston did it, it took on a whole new uh, meaning, money mostly. <laughs> Song. I said, oh, she can have the credit. I just want the cash. <laughs> so. Hey guys, today's video will mainly consist of Dolly talking about the I Will Always Love You music festival that runs from March 8th till April 14th. We will also see a few minutes of some of the new shows that Dollywood has this year. Something you won't see in this video is the food. They've added a lot of them. We're going to go around and try, hopefully, 10 of them show you some more of the shows and we will bring that out next weekend but we will go get a cupcake today and show you that gotta have a cupcake it's opening day and if you stick around to the end we will run into miss lillian it's always a treat to see her the show street palace theater three times a lady so many great people and of course you're going to be hearing them a lot uh, during this season because we're going to be doing a lot of the things that we did with the trio but they are so wonderful but I think back on all the great things I've done and one of the greatest things I've ever done was going in business with the Hershon family and starting up Dollywood. I have had a pretty bit of winter myself. Have you noticed all the stuff I've been doing? hard on that. That was one of the things I did last year. And one of the things I'm proudest of too is the fact that we opened our new Hartsome Lodge and Resort. And that beautiful thing, have you been there yet? Any of you staying down there? Of course I love the Dream More Resort. We've kind of vamped it up a little bit too. So I love that. And of course I got to do great things like sing at UT, although I couldn't hear my in my headpiece, but I got to be with Peyton Manning. Be down there with UT, all those great people. And of course, I got to do the Dallas Cowboy Halftime. <laughs> How'd you like my outfit? <laughs> oh, I tell you what, I thought, well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this off or not. But I'm going to dress like the Dallas Cowgirls. Yeah. Somebody said, oh, you're not serious, are you? I said, I'm dead serious. I figured if I could pull it off, It'd be a cute thing, which it turned out to be, and if it didn't turn out good, they'd just say there's some old lady just doing a stupid thing. But, turned out okay, and everybody says, you need to do a poster of that. Do you think I should? Well, I might, I might. But anyway, I had a chance to do the pet gala. Did anybody see that with all those cute little dogs? That was so much fun. And, of course, I have a whole lot of new things in store, and everybody always wants to hear about that. And a little later on, we'll be talking about 
all the things that we're going to be doing with me, but I just can't believe that this is our 39th season and we've got so many great things this year and some big things certainly for next year, our 40th anniversary. So anyway, we continue to grow every year. That's thanks to you. I looked out at the parking lot when I came in, I thought, oh my Lord, look at all those cars, all those people. And I'm so proud of every bit of it. We set an all time attendance record again in 2023, but we could not do any of that without the hard working hosts here at Dollywood. We're so proud of them. I got a big hand for them. Now, let's take a look at the year ahead and make 2024's best year ever. 24, best year ever. So let me see what we got planning and I'll be right back to tell you more about it. I might bring somebody out with me. Okay, we'll see you next. folks about us. Well, you know, we have a very big plan yeah. for this year. We invested over a million dollars in uh, sound equipment and light equipment for this brand new show that we're doing in this uh, facility. And I'll tell you, our success will start with your music this year. Good. We had, a, it. We had such a <laughs> We had such a successful launch celebrating the 50th anniversary of I Will Always Love You. We turned it into a brand new music festival to open this year. I'm glad you kept that around. And, and more importantly, everyone loves the shows that you do, so we're adding three new shows to the start of this year. Well, you know what? We heard some of the first new show earlier with the three times a the lady. They're going to be doing uh, several of our trios. It's amazing celebrating those great trio albums in a show that we call Trio Again. Yep, and that show is going to be in the Show Street Palace Theater. Well, we're also going to be doing a Broadway-style production in this very theater, showcasing my music and my life, and we call that From the Heart. The last show, I think, might be my favorite show. You've been trying to get me to sing with you on stage since I started here in 2019. Yeah, I've been so afraid to do that, but we have the best chance for everyone to get a chance to sing along with some of your most favorite love songs. That's that Rivertown, right? That's you know, for years I've been trying to get Jack Hershey to sing, and then one time he did, and never again, Jack. <laughs> never again, so you better really step up, and Eugene. Of, of course, that's gonna be called the Dolly Sing-Along Show. Yeah, everybody's gonna get to sing, right? So, I think we may try to do okay, that. Okay, I think what we're gonna do is I heard there was a party. Yeah, look at her. Who's that? We need everyone's help with this, okay? You get to sing it up. Yeah. 
what you were going to do pretty good. Excuse me. <laughs> but you don't make your living singing, I do, right? You're doing a pretty good job doing what you're doing. Jack, you can feel better about yourself now. <laughs> next couple of years that I'm really excited about. You've already mentioned our 40th anniversary, and I cannot believe that that is going to be here. So we've got some special things planned, and that's going to be great, and a brand new fancy restaurant that's coming. Yeah. Because I know how much you love to I eat. I love to eat, and I love all the food we have on the park, so that'd be great to have some more of it. Yeah, but we've been hard at work in the planning stages for a new game-changing attraction for 2026. And I know all of you are going to love what it's going to be. Yeah, I know they are too. Well, I cannot tell you how proud I am of all the things that, that all of you have done. I've just been so blessed through the years to work, as I mentioned, with the Hershey family and all the great people here at the park. And you've been a blessing to us all. So thank you for that. <laughs> about that but all my songs are like my children uh, you know because you can't it's like a mother trying to say you know which one of her kids she likes the most I would say they're like my children I expect them to support me when I'm home <laughs> We're gonna head into the bakery and pick up a festival treat. The line goes all the way out the door today already. There's a look at the festival treats. Have them displayed nicely in there. And there are the prices. White chocolate strawberry cupcake. Looks pretty good. It's a pretty pink and white. You got your pink note. That's white chocolate. That's good. I'll save you a piece of it, John. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. We couldn't even find a table to sit down to eat no, this. They're very busy today. They do a great job decorating the cookies and cupcakes. It's a heavy cupcake too. Pretty pink inside. That looks pretty good. 
take one more look at that. I like the strawberry cupcake. It's moist. It has a cream cheese icing. And then there's your white chocolate piece. They do a great job with their cookies and cupcakes. They're always fresh. And they do a nice job decorating them. Now when it said it was white chocolate, I assumed that the icing was white chocolate, but it is not. Just no. that little candy piece. Good thing I saved you a piece. Good thing. One of my favorite things about Dollywood is just to see what the cupcakes look like or the cookies or their apples that they do. And we went in to look at the apples and there wasn't any left. No, they already. were sold out already. We'll have to try again tomorrow. Let's go inside the festival shop and look at some of the merchandise. $45 on the sweatshirt. Different colors. There's a t-shirt. See what that cost. 20. Sweatshirt blanket for $45. I will always love you t-shirt is 30. You can get that design on a sweatshirt also for 40 and this one is 25 assortment of horseshoe butterflies. These are $60. Let's see what the small ones are. Seven. Looks like this is something new. Miss Lillian's flatbread chicken, $12.99 steak, $13.99. Right next to the pork rinds and the blacksmith shop. Mountain Laurel Home Quality Goods. Always look forward to going in this store. Looks like they have a lot of bunnies in here. $40 on this one and 60 on that. Always pretty in here. Look at this display of stuff. Bunnies. You can use that probably as a candy dish for $24. I like these, 
collection of Dolly's clothes. I like that shirt down there with the butterflies. Miss Lily in at the end of the day. Oh wow, so many chickadees to chicken bliss. And now I'm on camera. Oh, look at this wind. Oh my gosh, looks like a chicken to my song. I might be sent up to outer space. Fly me to the coop and let me crawl among the stars. Let me see what birds are like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, what a day this has been. Thank you. Thank you.